Hi viewers, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I am going to show how to calculate innovative trend analysis using our software. Okay, this is our paper published in Theoretical and Applied Climatology. See the methodology here innovative trend analysis. You can use this innovative trend analysis in any types of hydrometeorological time series data. Here, this method was first proposed by Shane in 2012 instead of traditional Mankandel's test. Here, in the innovative trend analysis, you can find some hidden trend. This is the methodology. I will give the publication link in the description below. See, this is a innovative trend, slope of innovative trend, you can easily calculate slope of innovative trend and innovative trend detection also using the graphical methods. So these are all beautiful graph. You can prepare after watching this tutorial. Now, this is the actual package, 10 cents. It is prepared by Shandip Kumar Patakumari. You can also contact with this mail for this author. Package 10 cents. Here you can find the formula. And using this formula, I have prepared code now. I will share with you. Okay. Open your R software. This is R software. Now this is my code and it needs library 10 chains. So first install in your PC 10 chains package. Type install dot packages. Ten chains. This way you can install any package in R and here right click and then install right. just give any name no no problem okay R is a open source free software now library tensions library okay now data this is it. your data have to be prepared in csv file run as line is show your data i have some sp data i want to check the trend and now head here yeah, head tensions See this name Abu Road. You have to change it here. Also, here Abu Road. Okay. Now, no need to change anything. This is the import data. This is the head for this data. And this is the formula. Here I have written annual. You can write anything. Then x, x bar, n, that's the length. f is, that's the first half. First half of data, that's means n divided by 2. And s is, that's when second half of data. Similar way, you can check the 95% confidence interval, 90% confidence interval. And here you can print your file into CSV format. IPA, give a name. Abu root. then your main information sheet you can print abu wrote now 
just select all up to here and right click run line or selection okay now go to your documents here you can find ITA first half of ITA second half of ITA change 95 percent confidence interval lower bound upper bound 10 90 percent confidence interval lower bound upper bound and also one information sheet that's mean this is slope this is the most important thing slope that's mean ITA slope here you can find slope ITA this value that's mean S value now you have to draw the this diagram in Excel I'll show how to prepare this diagram in Excel in the next tutorial please subscribe my channel thank you